Hello and welcome to another whiteboard testing video. Uh, I wanted to carry on with the theme that John Stevenson started with his note taking, the Cornell model, um, and just share, um, it's more of a key really that I've been using over the years. Um, I don't use it all the time, but I have used it and I've had great success using it. Um, so I want to go straight into the key. So it's a very simple key. So the first one is B. Um, now, I like to take notes on pen and paper. Um, it's my personal preference. I feel I get a lot more freedom using pen and paper than trying to use a tool. Um, and I, I just, it's my preference. Uh, and I, it also it leaves the application, you know, it leaves me monitor real estate just for my application or the device I'm focusing on. I don't need to worry about another tool being set up. Um, so I, I'm, a, I'm a pen and paper kind of note taker. Now, so the first one is B. Now, obviously, probably you've already guessed it, it's for bow. Now, the reason why. I don't log the books immediately. Um, I, when I'm in a session, I tend to do probably an hour and a half, two hour sessions. Uh, and I don't want to be breaking my session in order to log a book report. Um, so I tend to write a note about the book that I found. And as I'm doing it, I'll take some screenshots and I'll, uh, I'll might capture the log files at that time. But I won't actually go into the tool that we're using and create the issue yet. Uh, I just kind of build them up until the end of my session. Um, but in order for me to say it's a book, um, it has to be something explicit, so it has to be a requirement that's explicitly been broken. All the systems completely fallen over, obviously they're very obvious. Or it could be that um, historically I know that my stakeholders will say this is the bug. So I'm 99% I'm, you know, I'm, I'm confident that this is definitely going to be a bug, and me logging this isn't going to waste anyone's time. Now, the bug question mark is exactly that, is it? The B question mark is exactly that. I think it might be a bug. To me, it's probably a bug, something that's bothering me. So I'm thinking, it's probably going to bother my stakeholders, but I'm not 100% sure. It's not, a re it's not explicitly broken a requirement. Um, so I don't, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a note of it, and then I'm going to ask in my, um, in my session debrief. Uh, if I'm talking about this and you're not quite familiar with it, um, kinda, I kind of follow the session-based task management uh, introduced by uh, John and James Back. Um, so you can, I'll put a link at the bottom related to that. So in my debrief, that's when I'd raise these, I'd go, look, I think this is a bug. Here's why I think it's a bug. Dad, do you do you agree? And then we'll we'll subsequently log it. Um, the F. The F is for follow-up. So follow-up slash flag. So here I'm, it's things that I might have noticed that I just want to raise questions about. So I don't think it's a bug, but it's something that perhaps I don't quite understand. Um, well, not really that I don't understand. It might be a behaviour I've noticed that perhaps we weren't expecting. Um, it's not necessarily, I don't, I'm not think, thinking it's a bug yet, but it's something that I really want to flag to somebody and say, you know, we should be aware of this. Or it might have been that I noticed, um, I, I noticed something happening, but I couldn't reproduce it again. So I might flag it and let, let other people aware of what it is that I've noticed. And then question mark, obviously it's pretty self-explanatory. It's a question. So this will be something I've observed that's made me think, I don't really understand that, I need more information, uh, I need to ask someone, I need to ask some questions to people in order to try and get some more information and probably revisit that area. So that's why we have questions, and then I is a new idea. So the same with always, obviously, if you are doing exploratory testing and you have a new idea, you could test it there and then, but if you're in a particular session and you've got a set mission or you've got You've got a list of charters that you're trying to get through. You might not want to go off, um, go off charter there in order to look at this new idea that you've had. So you might just want to make a note of your new test idea, and then you, after your session, you could add that into your next session. Um, so I said it's it's a really simple key, um, but it just allows me to quickly take notes. Now, one of the things that is really important when you take notes in this format, and especially if you don't love the bugs there and then, is time. Um, it was actually Alan Richardson at one of his Black Ops testing um, classes that they do that I went to, and he was telling us about timestamping. He showed us some of his notes that he takes, and it reminded me how important timestamping is. So, you know, if you're five minutes into your session and you find a bug, and you take a screenshot and you take some logs, uh, you need to be able to find them again in order to add them to your book. So it's really important to put a timestamp on your notes to say, you know, that I found this at five past three. Um, so then you can go and find it. So remember timestamps. And also one of the things, again, it was Alan who pointed out to me. When you do take notes on paper, always remember to put the date at the top. 
when those notes were done. Because uh, it's really important when you try and recap or you try and find sessions at a late date. <clears throat> now, one of the things I do do, I do go back and do after I've uh, finished the session, is obviously I've had my debrief with my team and my stakeholders, and I've told them what I've found, and we've decided what is now a bug. Um, I will go back and actually put in the ticket numbers. Um, so whatever the ticket numbers may be, I'll go back in, and I'll fill the lines. Normally in a different colour, uh, just so I can, just so they stand out. And that's just in case I ever have to historically go back and go, what session was this found in? Uh, what, what was it I was trying to test at the time, or what ideas were, were what triggered me to do that, that, so that, those types of tests. Um, so this just helps me to go back and find that out. And then, as I said, because I'm a pen, um, pen and paper kind of person, I take, I, uh, take pictures of it and I upload it to the ticket to uh, correspond with that testing. And if I'm being really artistic, um, I have been known to draw pictures instead of using BF, question mark, and I. Um, so yeah, that was it really. I just wanted to give you a quick insight into a key that I've used. I found it speeds me up a lot. I don't have to break sessions just to log bugs in the same um, to look to log bugs in the session. I don't have to, I don't break my session to think of new I to test new ideas. Obviously, I do do some, um, but if it really takes me off charter, then uh, I'll just make a note of it for later. So yeah, that's one way. Um, that's one way of uh, taking notes. Uh, if you've got other ways of taking notes, uh, please let me know. Uh, tweet me. Uh, comment on the YouTube or record a video yourself of how you go about taking notes. Um, it's a really interesting area because you know we one of the most one of the things I feel a lot of testers don't do in it is they don't tell their testing story. Um, they don't they don't share um, how they went about finding the information that people value. And that's a very good point actually. It's reminder that's missing from here. So this is the key I use. But surrounding this is just general notes uh, for my own good. Things that I've seen. Things that I've observed. Um, I just we're just around it. But if there's a certain if anything falls into one of these categories, I tend to use the key at the start of the line in order to to, to be able to find it over my notes later. Um, so yeah, uh, thank you for watching. Cheers. Bye.